Hello, this is MakerJ11, and here's a little display project I put together. So this is a display that I got from something. I believe it was like a big photocopier or something. <clears throat> but this is a display that basically takes um, four or eight bits of code um, into it, and that's how you control it, and I have eight bits here. Um, and this is a ASCII uh, display. I'm not not sure what the part number is here so here's the data sheet on it though but here's the um, different the inputs so we have um, reset which I'm not I don't use that one the ones that I use are the digital pins so 0 through um, 7 and then you have write which is the another one you use that that's what this button controls so that controls the write so when you click that it actually writes to the display whatever the um, input is on the signal it displays that and then you have your power and ground so what it does is it uses ASCII code ASCII code um, I forget what that stands for um, but the way it works is you have two bits of code it's hexadecimal um, so you have your first four um, bits of code, which are for the first. So, so here, so you have each each um, number or letter or character here is represented by two um, digits. So, like let's say the A here, it's represented by four one. So four one, you would put that in on here. The four would be the first four, and then and you'd put it in, in binary. And hexadecimal code is basically zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F. That's hexadecimal. So it has um, sixteen different characters, just like how the normal, um, just like how the normal uh, number system, the decimal number system has zero through nine. So it has it's a uh, um, what do you call that? A decimal system. Because it has 10. Dec decimal is 10. This is hexadecimal, which is 16. So, so basically you have, um, so there's 16 different ones on each line here. So if I put in um, a, a 4A, you'd get a J displayed on the screen. So 4A would look like, well, I'll type something in here. Let's see. So if I wanted to say hello, I would put in an H. So you'd need a 4 and an 8. So what I do is I put in 4 on the first here and then so this is in binary. Binary if you don't know it's 1, 2, so binary can either be on or off. It's 1's and zeros. So the first one if it's on that would be 1. If the second one is on that would be that represents 2. So if you have both of them on that would be 3. Um, because 1 plus 2 is 3. The second one, place value, is 4. This one represents 4. So if that was on, that would be 4. So then if you want 5, you have... Um, that would be 5. 1 and 4 is 5. If you want 6, you turn on uh, 2 and 4. That would be 6. 7. And then it resets. And now this one is 8. So it goes... 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, uh, 32, 64 by 2 is by the power of 2. Um, so so that would be 8. Then you have 9. And then for hexadecimal, you basically use up all 16 different positions that this can be in. So now you have, um, that would be 9. Now if you were counting in normal binary, or normal decimal system, that this would be 15 or I mean not 15, um, 10, but since, but in ASCII, or in um, hexadecimal code, that's actually A, and then you have B, and then you have um, C, wait a minute, yeah, D, E, F, wait a minute, I messed that up there. When they're all down, though, it should be F. I messed that up this somewhere. Okay, so that's how that works. So if I want to put in something, so let's say I wanted to put in H, I would put 4 on the first one, and then 8 on the second one. So we have 
4 and 8 and then I click the button I have a little inverter here so that it does so it's a um, latched uh, push button because if you don't have that then it gives you really dirty signal and it might put like six H's there just from the just from one click so now we have an H and this is just the power supply over here so now if I want to do uh, if I want to spell hello um, E so we find e. well we'll do it all in caps here well no okay so then we have six five so six so that's a six and then a five would be four and a one there's our E and if we want L six six again um, where did it go no oh, E no A L C so we have um, that would be nine and then ten or um a oh sorry I'm doing this backwards okay nine a uh, I'm messing this up so much a b c there's our l's and then an o would be six f so six and f would be all of them there we go hello and then there's other codes as well that you can do well this this um, display already has a bunch of different characters programmed into it um, so you can display a bunch of different things you can actually make your make custom ones as well there's a way to do that and then also has other commands like clear display and um, somewhere here yeah, you can change the brightness of the display. So if I wanted to make it really dim, I can do that. So I can 1, so 1C. One uh, that would be 1C. Oh, wait, maybe it's already dim. Uh, did I mess that up? 1C. That should be 1C. Maybe it's already dim. Let's try 1F. Oh, that was wrong. Okay, there we go. Now it's really dim. That's dimmest, and then here we go. Bright. I think that's brighter. Maybe. Yeah, they call it brighter. Hmm. Maybe not. What am I doing wrong here? Okay. Yeah, that's dim. That's bright. <clears throat> so you can change the the um. Uh. Yeah, you can change the brightness and a bunch of different things. So it's a pretty cool little display, but it's all all in the back here. It even has a test mode too, um, which I could show you that. Let me get a clip lead here. If you connect these two pins down here together, it goes into the troubleshooter test mode. Or wait, maybe I have to connect one of them to power. I don't remember what it was. Uh, let me try connecting it to ground. Yeah, there we go. Now it's in the test mode. You can see it's displaying all the characters. It'll just go through the whole list. And it just wraps around. But it's a pretty cool little vacuum fluorescent display. Um, it was a really nice find. So, really a more, much more efficient way to drive this would be using Arduino, but um, I haven't really gone into Arduino too much. I believe that this sort of display on here would also use the same um, ASCII code, if I'm not mistaken, because actually up here on the top it has the pins marked out, and we have VSS, VDD, which would be power and ground, or ground and power, and then we have... Or wait, if one of these, well, R W would be right probably. E, I'm not sure what that is. Then we have D O, D one, D two, D three, D four, D five, D six, D seven. That's um, digital pins. So we have eight digital pins. Pins. So it probably uses this, so it uses eight um, bits. Um, and then we have an A and a K, which I believe is probably for the um, yeah, that, that's for the LED backlight. Anode and cathode, probably. That's what it stands for. So, you could probably... I haven't tried it yet, but I could probably drive this using the same exact circuit. 
So, yeah, kind of cool, but just thought I'd show you guys that. It was a cool little project that I worked on, so um, maybe I'll have to try sometime hooking up to Arduino and see if I can get it to work that way. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching.